Hello and welcome to the chapter on data file handling. This is the part 8 of this particular chapter and today we are going to discuss about searching data from binary files. Let us try to understand the meaning of the word searching. Let's say we have a binary file. Searching refers to the concept of traversing the binary file to check for the required information. So in a binary file, we will have some data and we will want to look for some data. So for that, what we will do, we will move through the binary file one by one and then if we get our required information, it will be displayed and if that information is not present in the binary file, then also we will get the message that the information that we are looking for is not present in that particular binary file. Let's see how we will do it programmatically. So we will be having a file, a binary file rather, which will have some details about the students like students role, students name and students class. We will receive this data from the user and after receiving, we will go through the file and search the data using the student role number. Let's see how to do it programmatically. For that, we'll open Python. And then we will try to do this program. So I'll just write the name of the program here, like a program to search for a particular record in a binary file. Now this session is a follow up from the previous session. Before knowing how to search data, you should know what a binary file is, what are dump, what are load, what is seek function and all this information you will get from the previous videos. Okay, so make sure you watch them first before coming to this. So we all know that while using binary files, we require a module. That module is known as pickle module. So we'll import the pickle module here and then we'll take a file object. Let's say the file object is x. x equals to open. We already know the syntax of open. We need to give a file name. Now here, how the operation will go on? At first, we have to write data into a file and from that data, we will be searching for some information. So we all know that while writing any data to an external file, it's not compulsory that the file should already be present. If the file is not present, then a new file is created. So let's create a new file. So for that, we just have to mention the name of the file. So let's say I'll give it something like student data dot. Since it is a binary file, the file extension will be dot dat. Now, here at first we are going to write data into the binary file and then extract the data from the binary file and after extracting we will be searching data from that particular file. So at first what operation is involved? For sending the data to the binary file writing operation is involved and after that for bringing the data from that binary file and searching reading operation is involved. So for that, the file mode will be W plus. W plus means writing and then reading. But since it is a binary file, it would be W plus B. B stands for binary file. Now here, what we will do, we will ask the user to enter the number of students. So int input, enter the number of students, okay? And based on the input, we will enter that many uh, number of students information. Now, after receiving the data from the students, the data should be stored uh, into a data type. Let's say the data type is list in that case. Let's take a variable called details and it is an empty list because till now we have not inserted any value into the list. After that, based on this value of n, we will have to take a loop. So let's take a loop for i in range. Let's take the loop from 0 to n. So based on n, the value of n, this loop will run. After that, let's give a message like enter the following student 
details okay so we'll receive some data from the user regarding some students so how for how many students will receive the data it will depend on the number of students which will be entered by the user so let's say the first information is roll number so let's take a variable called roll and receive the roll number input let's write here roll all right then let's receive the name of the students for that let's take a variable called name name equals to name so we'll be receiving the name of the user after that let's receive the class so for that let's receive int input let's receive the class from the user this loop will run as per the value of n after that we know about a function called append we will append this data into the list details so what was the syntax for append syntax was list name the list name is details dot append function and what is to be appended append means adding new elements to the end of an existing list the existing list is details so into this list we are going to append roll number name and class which is received just now so since it is a list you should know that the index of role is zero index of name is one and index of class is two after that whatever data will be received we need to send this data to the external file to which external file to the external file student underscore data dot dat how to send data to a binary file by using the dump function dump is a function within the pickle module so we have to write pickle dot dump what was the syntax for dump function the syntax for dump function was we have to write the uh, data object which is details and the file object which is x here for details regarding dump go through part 7 of the uh, series on data file handling now after writing the details the cursor will come to the end as you can see here after writing all these things the cursor has come to the end now if i have to read from that file itself i have to forcefully bring this cursor from this position to the initial position now how to bring the cursor from the current position to the initial position for that we'll be using a function called seek the syntax is file object dot seek and the initial position means the zeroth position so we'll give here x dot seek zero after that let's take a variable called y and read all the data from the binary files how to read from binary files for that we already have a function within the pickle module called the load function so we'll be using the load function here like pickle dot load what is the syntax within the load function we have to give the file object which is the file object here x is the file object so i'll be giving here pickle dot load x now now we will start our searching operation now after searching through the file there are only two scenarios one scenario is that either we will get the roll number which we want to search or we will not get the roll number which we will want to search okay so since there are two scenarios we will take a variable okay let's say flag flag equals to zero if there are two scenarios we have to take such type of a variable so that we can go to a effective conclusion when the file uh, when the particular data is present or when the particular data is not present after that let's receive from the user the roll number whose data the student wants to search okay so it's similar to the registration that we do in different websites after registering if we want to search some data we have to enter some credentials okay let's say the credential is roll number in this case so we'll write here enter roll number to search for student data now depending upon this roll number we will traverse the entire binary file okay so let's see how it will work now so what we have let's say we have a file till now let's say the name of the file is sdetails.dat the name can be anything and let's say these are the 
data within this particular file. Now traversing means going through each record one after another. Here we have three columns, roll number, name and class. The index of roll number is 0, index of name is 1 and the index of class is 2. At first, we have to search for the index 0 because we are searching with the help of roll number. So the roll number which we want to search will be compared to the first roll number of the first data. After that, if it is not present, it will be searching the second data. After that, it will be searching the third data and so on until the end of the file is reached. Now, how to search iteratively one after another? For that, we will take the help of loop as you will see now. So after that, what we will do, we will take a loop for i in. Now, where is the data stored now? The data is stored in the variable y. So we will be writing here for i in y. After that, if roll number, roll, roll is the roll number that we want to search. It is to be compared with the first index. Okay, first index is what is the roll number. So equals to equals to i i0 why i what will be stored in i0 the roll number of the first student will be stored if the roll number that we want to search and the roll number of the first student matches then what we will do immediately we will change the flag which was 0 initially to 1 that means 1 signifies that the roll number that we want to search is present and 0 signifies that it is absent now, if it is present, we have to do some actions. The actions are, let's give some headings here. Let's say roll number, let's give a pipe here. This is just for display and class here. After that, we will display the entire row of the entire row when the roll number is found. Now, where is the entire row present? If I'm displaying I0, that means I'm displaying only the if I'm checking for I0, that means I'm checking only for roll number. But if I want the entire row, I have to give I here. Because I will consist of the entire row. Now, this operation will go on row after row until that particular roll number is found. And if after traversing the entire binary file, it is not found, then it will come out of the loop. After coming out of the loop, what we'll do, we'll give your flag equals to equals to zero. Now, when flag will be equals to zero, if the roll number that we want to search is not present in the binary file. And in that case, we'll have to display a message like invalid roll number record. We can display anything here record not found okay after we are done let me close the file okay so the program is done let me save it with any name like search underscore try dot py you can give any name as per your wish there's no restriction in that and this file will be created in that folder where i have saved the Python file. I have saved it in the documents folder. So this uh, file should ideally be created in the documents folder itself. So let's run it. It is asking me to enter the number of students. Let's enter data of three students. So I'm giving you a three. Enter the following students details. Roll number it is asking. Let me give roll number as one. Let's give roll name as Elise and let's give class as 10. Ne next, since I have entered three, so the loop this particular loop, which uh, I said here, it will run for three times. So it is 1002. Let's give name as Bob. Let's say class 11. It will run for another one time because I've given number of students as three. Roll number is three. Let's say it is Raj and class is, let's say, 12. Now, what is the status now? The status is that all this data are received and it is put into the binary file. Which binary file? It is put into the binary file student underscore data dot dat. Now we have to search for the student data. 
Now let's say I want to start search information for a student 1002. So what will happen? The entire file will be traversed and since it is present, I'll get the data for uh, student 1002. Okay, I hope this is clear. Uh, let me just cut it and run it once more. Enter number of students. Let's say this time I'm giving two students. We will roll number one. Let's say name is Elise, class is 10. Let's say roll number 1002, name is Bob. Let's say class is 11. Enter roll number to search for student data. Let's say I'll give such a roll number which is not present in the binary file. Let's say roll number 1009 and I'll press the enter key. What it is showing? It is showing invalid roll number record not found. Okay. Now, for verifying that this file is present or not, or this file is created or not, let me go to that folder where the Python uh, program is saved and there I'll find the name. It should be somewhat like student, yeah, student data dot 